Welcome back to the tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a medkit or a health pickup. So in the previous tutorial, I will put a link in the description. We created a damage taker, which takes the damage off the player's health. And now I'll teach you how to create the pickup to give the player his health back. To start with, we're going to create a blueprint. It's going to be an actor. Just call this. Let me rename it. <coughs> it's not letting me do that. So blueprint actor. Rename this to medkit. Double click it. And now we're really just going to create a box collision. I'm going to set that to one is fine. And we'll just create a. We'll just put a cube for now. Obviously you can put your asset in there just scale it down to 0 0.5 compile then we go to the event graph and then off then we're going to take the box collision add event on component begin overlap we're then going to cast to the third person character or first person if you're using or whatever your character's called over here Cast to third person character, attach object to other actor. Then we're going to get a branch, and from as third person character, we're going to get full health. Uh, we've made these in a previous tutorial already, so I'll, as I said, I'll put the link in the description. So from here, we need to check if the health is equal or larger than 100. So we're going to use from the condition, drag off the crocodile sign and equals. And we're going to use the float. I touch that here. And then we're going to do 100. As this is checking, as I mentioned, if the full health is 100 or below. If this is true, we're just going to drag off here and do a print string saying health is full. If it's false, we're going to set full health. We'll work there, so we have to drag it off from the third person character. Set full health, hook that up to false. And we're going to duplicate this full health. I touch that in here. Sorry, not here. We're going to attach the self to the third person character, and then we're going to get the add float. So we'll float add float, then connect this up to full health. We'll set it at twenty five for now, which is a quarter of the health bar. Before this, we're just going to put a min min value, which min float which is basically a health cap. So we'll set this to 100. It's just a double checker as well. Set and put that there. So it should look like this. Once that's done, we're going to destroy the actor, which will be the um, medkit. Destroy actor. And then we'll just do a print string just to check. So print string, you have found a medkit, medkit health pickup, whatever you want to name it. Compile. Just save, make sure you save every once in a while. Then let's just drag the medkit out. Bring it higher. And let's see. So when we when we walk up to it, it should say health is full. Yep, health is full. Now if some of our health gets removed. That should have of 20, 30, 40. Now it should fill one more time. So now it should fill up to three quarters if we go over the Medicaid. And it works. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Um, this is just a short one as I'm going to go into inventory next after this and teach you how to select um, multiple. Uh, keep multiple 
medkits and use them at your disposal. Meaning, if there's more than one medkit, as as it says, health is full right now. When we have the inventory system, we'll be able to collect these medkit medkits and use them at our disposal. So it won't just be used straight away. We can collect them and use them when and where we need to. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon.